Hello, I'm Julie Cronshaw. I've been teaching Chiquetti Method Classical Ballet in London for more than 25 years. I graduated from the Royal Ballet School Teachers Training Course in 1986 and danced professionally before setting up my own school. I'm a Fellow of the ISTD in the Chiquetti Method and hold the Enrico Chiquetti Diploma. Most recently, I've made a film called Ballet's Secret Code, which is available on this channel. And for more information, content and even more videos, you can go to the website balletsecretcode.com. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's talk about infinity and eternity. The lines and the formations in Swan Lake Act 2 made by the corps de ballet, which seem to go on and on and on into infinity, like those mirrors you see where you put one against the other and they reflect you until your image gets smaller and smaller and smaller and disappears altogether. Lev Ivanov created the choreography for Acts 2 and 4 of Swan Lake. It wasn't Petipa. Petipa created the choreography in Acts 1 and 3. When you read about Lev Ivanov, he didn't seem to be the world's most happy man. I would like to assume that he had quite some knowledge about what he was doing when he created those beautiful formations in Swan Lake. When we look at those girls in those dead straight lines, surely that has to have some kind of effect on the viewer in the audience because you have the repetition of each girl in the line and the way that the back of the line seems to disappear out at the back of the stage. So it looks like the line is going on forever. Interestingly, apparently, originally, the taller corps de ballet dancers would have been at the front and the shorter corps de ballet dancers would have been at the back of the line. And this was to increase the sense of perspective. The arabesque line here. If you drop the elbow slightly and lift the fingers slightly, and then the eye focus is directed beyond the fingers out into the distance, we have a sense of a line that carries on into eternity. And without saying a word, when you have 16 or 24 dancers in the corps de ballet, everybody in the same line, everybody with the same eye focus, perhaps as an audience we do interpret this imagery on an intellectual level, in a subconscious way. And maybe this was the design of Lev Ivanov when he created Swan Lake Act 2 more than 100 years ago. Just a reminder, I've made a film called Ballet Secret Code. It's a one hour documentary available on YouTube on this channel for free. It took a long time to make, I'm very proud of it, and it's all about ballet technique. You can find it on YouTube or click on the link below.